I'm about to try it. Let's see. Okay, so turn it on. A five-step foundation routine, which is kind of extra if you ask me, but hey, we'll try it. Oh. Then you take your nuggets and put them... That's like a major thing. That is... Like, everyone can steal phones now. and welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I'm gonna be testing TikTok life hacks. I've seen so many different life hacks on TikTok and I thought I wanna put them to the test because like they could be fake, you know, and we don't like fakers. <laughs> so the life hacks that I'm gonna be trying are the five step foundation life hack, the chicken nuggets life hack, the vacuum ponytail life hack, I'm not looking forward to that one, and the life hack of how to unlock any iPhone without knowing the password. Sketchy. I'm pretty excited to see if these life hacks work or not, so without any further ado, let's get into the the it the it it ah. The it the it it ah. What? The it the it ah. Let's get into the the it the it ah. The idea. Let's go. <laughs> okay, so this next life hack is to do with McDonald's. So, we're gonna go on a little road trip and go get ourselves a Mackey's. So, I didn't really say this before, but this is a hack of how to eat McDonald's, and it basically involves like a drink and then like your chicken nuggets and your chips. I'm pretty sure this will work, although I feel like it could go wrong as well, because like, what if it's too heavy and the drink falls over, or it's unbalanced and like, yeah, there's issues with it. Look this, by the way, that's super annoying. Hi, can I have a six chicken nugget meal, please? Medium, please. Um, can I get an oasis, please? No, thank you. That's it, thank you. Thank you. So I've got chicken nuggets and chips, and I've also got a little oasis, but it works with any drink like this, apparently. So, what you do is put the straw in. Then you take your nuggets and put them here. Okay, I see where this is going. And then the chips go in this side. Okay, that is kind of an issue because it's a little bit unbalanced, like my chips don't really fit here, but other than that, like I see why this is helpful, you know? I don't know if it's like something to do with the paper straw. I can't really get much drink, maybe it's like weighing it down. Yeah. It kind of like weighs down the straw. I guess I could just adjust it and it would be okay, but yeah. Honestly though guys, this is pretty cool. Like I might do this from now on. Overall, I think this is such a cool life hack. Like it works. I don't know if it's super necessary, but it kind of just makes it like easy. I don't even know. This is a pretty cool hack. So overall, I'm probably gonna rate it like a eight or nine out of 10. And the only reason it's not 10 out of 10 is just because there's not like a super big reason for it. It's just kind of cool. And also, it's a little bit embarrassing to sit in McDonald's with it like this. I mean, at least I would think it's a little bit embarrassing, but like, I don't know, like, it's still kind of cool. Like, I would do it with my friends, but I wouldn't just go in McDonald's and eat like this, probably. I don't know. Overall, this is definitely one of the better life hacks out of the ones I've tested, so I rate this. <laughs> Okay guys, I'm about to test the life hack that says if you have a phone and it's got the little like thumbprint thing on it, then if you put sellotape over the button, you can unlock the phone. I don't really see how this can work. Like I have seen people do it in their TikTok videos, but I just don't think it can be real, but I will try it and we can see how it goes. So this is my mum's phone and my finger is not on it. Like look, as you can see, it says try again. It doesn't work. So now I'm gonna be taking some sticky tape and putting it over the button. I honestly don't think this is gonna work, but like I'm gonna try. Okay, so I've got the sticky tape, let's see. This just, oh, it doesn't make sense. The sticky tape is on the button. So now's the moment of truth. Let's see if it's gonna unlock. I just, 
if it does unlock that's so bad like that's like that's like a major thing that is like everyone can steal phones now I'm about to try it let's see okay so turn it on it doesn't work I've been scammed I can't believe that didn't work well I can I kind of expected it not to work but at the same time like like loads of people were saying it worked on TikTok so unless like my sellotape's not good enough this life hack was a fail all it does is make your phone kind of sticky sorry mom so the sellotape phone life hack was a huge fail i don't recommend this because it doesn't work literally who came up with that idea and was like i'm gonna trick everyone <laughs> i'm gonna rate this life hack like a two out of ten and that too is creativity points only because like why else would i give this any other points stupid doesn't even work kind of fuming because like that would have been kind of cool like i could have snooped on my mom or whoever else's phone i found but i guess we're just gonna have to stick with being a good person which <laughs> in the long run i'm sure is for the best okay so i'm about to do the like makeup tiktok hack which has basically been going really viral recently and i've seen so many people do it it's pretty much a five step foundation routine which is kind of extra if you ask me but hey we'll try it so the order is you start off with a moisturizer then after the moisturizer you put on powder after the powder you put on setting spray you wait for the setting spray to dry and then you put on primer and then at last you put on your foundation which to me just seems so extra but apparently it's like amazing and like life changing so we're gonna try it and hopefully we see some cool results so step one is to apply moisturizer this is the moisturizer i'm going to use it's nip and fab purify teen skin fix zero shine moisturizer which is the moisturizer i'd use anyway so let's give it a go Okay, so I've done this and the next step is to add powder, which I think is so strange. Now, I've seen a lot of people do this a little bit differently. Some people just use a like solid powder and just like dot it around their face and other people use a loose powder and put it like under their eyes and stuff like that. So, I don't really know. I guess I'm going to do a little bit of both because then either way I can't be 100% wrong. You get me? Dab it around my face. I just don't see how this is going to work, but... I'm not gonna put too much on because if this is wrong, then I feel like it's very wrong, you get me? This really hasn't been on my face for long, but I'm gonna take it off anyway because literally, like there's no point leaving it on for a long time. Like what is it gonna set, my moisturizer? The next step is to add setting spray. I'm just gonna spray it all over my face, obviously, but like, I, I don't know, like, I think you're supposed to put quite a lot. Just, okay, let's try. Now I have to wait for this to dry, so however long that takes, I guess I'm just gonna wait. Maybe I can like fan it and speed up the process a bit. Okay, so that has dried, and the next step is to put on primer. This is my favorite primer, it's Diamond Heart Base Primer, Soft Focus, and it's nearly run out, so hopefully I can actually get enough out of this. Okay. I'm applying it with my hands, by the way, but I always do that with primer, like, I just do. So that is the primer now on my face. And like, I don't know, it feels kind of like thicker because I have like layers on, I guess. I don't even know. But now I'm gonna do my foundation, which is obviously the final step. I'm using my Rimmel London Last In Finish foundation, which I use every day. I'm just gonna start applying it and I guess we'll like see if there's a difference. I don't know, I just don't think there will be. foundation is on but I don't really know if there's a huge difference like I think maybe it went on a little bit better it feels maybe more even I think it's just a little bit more it's like a little bit more glowy than normal and maybe a little bit more even so I think it kind of worked to be fair overall I'm gonna have to say this hack was pretty successful like it definitely wasn't a fail I don't know how successful really but it wasn't a fail. Out of 10, I would probably rate this like a 7.5 or 8 out of 10 because like it works and it's cool. It's just not life-changing like some TikToks make it seem, if you get me. 
Okay guys, so this next life hack is really crazy and I'm a little bit terrified. So basically, this is the life hack where you use a hoover to make a ponytail. I've seen so many people do this and I honestly like don't know how they do it. It doesn't make sense to me. So my mama, come on mama, is gonna hoover my hair and I'm not really sure about Can this. Can I do it to you? First. <laughs> nah. You just like put it and you just like do <laughs> Like you just like stuck the ends of the hair. Just like, and then you just go like whoop to my hair. Listen. I really do it slowly and carefully. I'm um, doing it. It stopped. <laughs> just try it, try it, go. Oh, fell off. Can we I I think I need to do something with it. It's I'm a little dicky thing. Okay. okay, so we're back from a quick commercial break of about nine hours <laughs> and we fixed the hoover so we're gonna try again i don't know if it's got like strong enough power to actually like get my hair in it so we're just gonna try <laughs> so i'm scared oh no imagine if you put it on the mats and my weave just ripped across Whoa. Whoa. hold it like that like that the side pony yeah this at all because if yeah. your kids try this at home don't try it at home unless you're you supervised might be by a responsible any. adult like my mum <laughs> or not who just let me suck her hair into a vacuum cleaner. i didn't let you you bullied me okay what do we rate this out of 10 madre mm. <laughs> no. i think it's actually I mean, like it's cool it it, it, mm, five I rate it like a six. So guys, those were the TikTok life hacks that I decided to try. What do you think? Success? Fail? I don't know to be honest, because um, when I'm filming this, I've not done it yet. <coughs> if you did enjoy this video, make sure you give it a big thumbs up, because I'm trying to reach 2,000 thumbs up on this video. On this video. Also, you could do me a really big favor by hitting that big red subscribe button and subscribing my channel because I make new videos every Sunday and every Wednesday and I don't want you to miss a thing. So while you're at it, make sure you turn on notifications with the notification bell icon because that way you're going to stay up to date and, you know, you just, yeah, yeah, stay up to date, please, thank you. You can also follow me on all of my social media, including TikTok, which will be linked in the description box below. I think that's everything, so all that's left to say is I love you a lotty and I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys!